Thank you, thank you. Praise the Lord, everybody. Shall hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen, amen, amen. I am so glad to be here with you. We are in the book of Joshua, the first chapter, as they're getting ready for us. Uh, Joshua chapter 1, reading from verse 1 and verse 2, if you will. I mean, we've been doing that since Thursday night when God came to Moses. Uh, he came to Joshua, I should say, and said how Moses is dead. Y'all remember those things, right? Yeah, yeah. And God told Joshua, basically, I have good news and I have bad news. Moses is dead. Now it's time for you to take my people to the promised land. The Lord spoke to Joshua, the son of Nun, says Moses' assistant, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore, say that word with me. Now therefore, arise. Go over this Jordan, you and all these people, to the land which I am giving to them, the children of Israel. Just lift up your hand. Lift up your hand right now. Say, Lord, speak to me. Speak to my heart. Speak to my mind. You need to understand when God has your ears, he speaks to you. But when he has your heart, he ministers to you. Say, God, minister unto me. Father God, we trust you. We believe you. We release your spirit in this house. Do whatever you want to do. Save whomever you want to save. Heal whomever you want to heal, Father. Set your people free. We trust you. We believe you. We pray in Jesus' name. Somebody shout amen. amen. All right. Y'all may be seated. Y'all may be seated. I am so glad to be in the house of God to worship him in spirit and in truth. How many of you have been blessed this far? How many of you truly have been blessed? That's right, that's right. And you expect more from God. We are glad to see our Haitian Baptist Church in the house. Les saint we appreciate them. That's right, that's right. They came all the way from uh, uh, Burlington to be with us here. We, we are so glad to have them in the house. By the way, uh, just in case, just in case you didn't know, next week, uh, they're going to have their youth conference. That's right, that's right. I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you to be a part of it and i'll be sharing the word also over there in burlington so it's gonna be wonderful they have a, a powerful theme basically we're just gonna build up upon this theme here it's uh, uh it's simple be ye sanctified uh did you hear that be ye sanctified i'm telling you if you want to arise you want to remain standing you gotta be sanctified simple as that simple as that so I want to encourage you to find your way up there, uh, Sunset Boulevard. It will be a blessing to you. I have two of our young people from our church here in the house, Angela and Pauline. Would you please stand up? All right, they're here with us. Thank you, thank you for being here. And my wife, she's somewhere in the back helping us with that projection. I've been blessed, been married for 12 years. You, that's right, that's right. No, 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 I am happily married. <laughs> that's right, that's right. We good. I, I don't need another one. I don't want another one. Did you hear me, man? I'm set. I'm good. Everything. It's all well. Lord, be my to back on for me. Let's go, Questa. That's why, young people, I want to encourage you. Don't be too quick. Are you with me? Don't choose by yourself. Allow the Holy Spirit to lead you and to guide you because you don't want to do this thing without Him. Why regret? Let's go to this. Don't think that just because she's cute. No, no, no. She may not be the one for you. Yeah, I know, I know he got the swag that you want, but he, he might be a loser. You know, you, you want the, come on, come on, don't make me preach this thing here. You want the Holy Spirit to enlighten you. If you have not been with us, uh, beginning with Thursday night, we were showing you how God came to uh, uh, Joshua and he simply told him that Moses is the past. It's time for you to move on, to let go of the past. And we told you, in order for you to rise up, you have to keep the past in the... Those of you who are taking note, come on. You have to keep the past in the, in the past. Simple as that. You make peace with the past. You learn from the past. And you move on. And not only that, God gave Joshua a purpose. 
a reason for for living if you will uh, and last night last night help me here Luna last night we show you how God came to Joshua he made a promise to him y'all remember that he told him that hey where, where, wherever wherever you go are you with me whatever you walk whatever you the sole of your feet touch on I give it to you what a promise he gave him not only he gave him a promise but he empowered him to succeed did you hear me he gave him the power he said no man shall be able to stand before you as long as you are alive and I, I showed you how those promises were not just to Joshua but they are also to what do you believe that right God promised that those of us who are uh, being anointed with the Holy Spirit we have the grace we have the dunamis we have the exousia we have the ability the authority the power to cast out demons you remember that right the power to speak in new tongues I know I know nowadays a lot of those modern churches don't believe in those things but guess what as long as you have demons running on planet earth you still need some power as long as there are diseases on planet earth you still need the healing miracle power are you with me that's why god empowered his church to be a strong church not just a social club mm -mm 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 -mm. We are not just a social gathering. Are you with me? It's more than that. It is a spiritual supernatural. How many of you need the supernatural? You need to understand that you already have the natural. But from time to time, you need to say, I need the super. How many of you need the super? How many of you need? Come on, come on. Say, I need the super. That's how you minister under the anointing power of the Holy Spirit. Now, let me tell you tonight, I am on a very special assignment. As I prayed, the Holy Spirit showed me something. And, and, and I would encourage you to not only take note, but if you could find your way back there, get those CDs. Because I've been not only, not, not, not so much preaching, but rather teaching. Because when you know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you don't really need preaching, but you need teaching. Are you with me? I've been systematically layers upon layers, principles upon, because I don't want to come here and make you shout, you know, rise, stand up, and then you have nothing, nothing substantial to keep you. Are you with me? And, 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 and I've seen how many of us, we cry, uh, Holy Spirit, help me. You know, uh, arise, let's stand up, let's move it on, let's go higher, let's do better. But yet, Deep down inside, we are bound. Deep down inside, a lot of us are in chain. Are you with me? Are you with me? And, and this little thing that I'm getting ready to share with you, it's one of the things that we know about it in the church, but yet people don't really talk about it. And many times, many times, you go to school with it. You go back home with it and you come to church with it. are you with me are you there you come to church with it and and it's kind of hard for you to tell somebody to tell someone that you are going through it but tonight i am on a mission god has assigned me to set you free did you hear me did you hear me and and i don't know if you can sense it but there is a sweet anointing in the house the Bible said where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. And I prayed over this word. I believe this word. It may not be for everybody here. But there's somebody in this house who needs to hear this word. You see how Joshua got up. And he did the impossible. He did great miraculous things. Tonight I want to show you in the next few minutes that I have how a true a real man of god filled with the holy spirit he got up and he ran for his life he basically did the same thing that joshua did but he was under a different spirit if you don't mind open or turning the pages of your bible or use your ipod whatever that is that you have uh in the book of first kings the 19th chapter first kings chapter 19 l'évangile tv là nous content well et tout le monde cap garder nous wherever that you are god bless you god bless you come on somebody shout amen 
yeah let them hear you let them hear you let them know that they the dead cannot praise god but we the living we are the one praising him the bible said in first kings chapter 19 beginning with verse 1 and ahab told jezebel all that elijah had done also how he had executed all the prophets with the sword i'm gonna be reading the first eight verses for you then jezebel sent a messenger to elijah saying so let the gods do to me and more also if i do not make your life as the life of one of them by tomorrow about this time keep going keep going and when he saw that he say that word with me he come on whenever you see that word i want you to jump on it when he saw that he and ran for his life would you agree with me that he arose right he he rise up but he did what he ran for his life and went to Beersheba which belongs to Judah and left his servant there but he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness and came and sat down under a broom tree and he prayed that he might die the man of God is praying did you hear that prayer he prayed that he might die and said it is enough now Lord take my life for I am no better than my father's then as he lay and slept under a broom tree suddenly an angel touched him and said to him I told you, come on you're not with me whenever you see that word I want you to repeat it the angel touched him and said to him and eat then he looked and there by his head was a cake baked on a coals and, and a jar of water so he ate and drunk and lay down again keep going and the angel of the Lord came back the second time and touched him and said and he eat because the journey is too great for you the word that I really want to share with you if you check the narrative that we have in front of us it speaks of the prophet named Elijah a powerful man of God and you need to go back the previous chapter to see how God used this man mightily you understand at that time uh, Ahab and his wicked wife Jezebel was running the country and uh, Israel fell into uh, uh, all kind of, they were worshiping Baal at this time they, they were doing all kind of bad things before the Lord and God pronounced his judgment against the nation he used his prophet to prophesy and said there will be no rain nor dew for three and a half years after those years were over uh, the prophet came back and he challenged all the false prophets on the Mount Carmel how many of you remember that story and and the, they, they they call on their God nothing happened until Elijah came and he called on God you remember how God came mightily and answered by the way of fire he burned the Holocaust and, and, and Elijah sees all the false prophets he slain them he killed them right there in the valley and and God answered him prayer be his prayer and the rain fell down after God has used this man so mightily the Bible said Ahab went home and he told his wife Jezebel what the men of God did and the Bible said Jezebel sent a messenger to Elijah and told him in 1st Kings 19 verses 1 and 2 he sent a she sent a messenger to Elijah and told him tomorrow around this time you will be dead tomorrow around this time I will cut your head are, are you are you are you following me so so she was threatening the men of God and the Bible says when Elijah heard those words put, put those verses on the screen when Elijah heard those words I want you to see that she said tomorrow you are dead but he saw did, did you hear what I just said she spoke but he saw see the words that the queen uttered painted a picture to the man of God she said but he saw and based on what he saw he reacted I want you to understand something what you believe 
will impact your behavior are you following me are you following me she said but he saw and based on that he reacted he arose and ran for his life the man of God fell into a deep depression and that is basically what I want to talk to you about because many of us we have our Bibles we are singing we are worshiping but deep down inside we are depressed deep down inside are you with me when we come here when we see our friends we put a fake smile on our face we fake it we don't want people to know but 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 day after days we are sinking down into the bottom pit of depression the man of God got depressed and it's not just him I want you to know you are living in the United States of America right now it is said that more than 150 million people are depressed did you hear me 150 million people every day don't want to get out of bed every day they are suffering with some type of post-traumatic disorder I work I work at a pharmacy and I got to tell you I feel a lot of script for Lexapro uh, well, Butrin, are you following me? Poor Zach, just in case you don't know, they are antidepressant medicines. Because a lot of people, they, they cannot spend a day without those meds. They cannot go to bed without taking some kind of pills. Are you with me? That's why if you can sleep without pills, y'all should be grateful. If you can make it a day without those depressants, y'all should be grateful. Because far too many people are taking pills. And the thing is, many times, we don't make it safe for them, especially in our churches, to come and be real. Are you with me? Are you with me? I do believe that we are called to be faith people, not fake people. Uh, come on, let me try this side. Let me try this side. I said, we have been called to be faith people, not fake people people bro it's time for you to keep it real are you with me you're struggling it's time for you to come here and say i need some help come on come on somebody it's time for you to say i don't care what you think about me i don't care what you say about me but i need some the man of god arose and he ran for his life he was motivated see understand that joshua arose he was motivated by faith the other man Elijah arose but he was motivated by fear did you hear me did you hear me they did pretty much the same thing but they had different power source now you understand where faith comes from right Romans chapter 10 speak to me speak to me the Bible said faith comes from you, you, you know from the word of God you know you know that right right and what you hear is from the word of God so what you hear uh, will bring up faith now do, do you know where fear comes from what you hear the same principle applied there when you hear the word of God it builds up faith in you but when you hear the word of the enemy are you with me if you let it in if you receive it he will build right fear into you and that's why you must be very careful what you pay attention to whom you're allowed to speak into your life are you following me it's time for you from time to time you need to turn off the tv are you with me and get connected with the heavenly la piafo la piafo oh well on pile de fois mouna passe en pile temps y'a fait news y'a fait news tant qu'on fait news on va qu'être bonne mauvaise nouvelle on attendait est-ce qu'on l'a fait lui fait l'air fait temps pour faire mes télévisions pour dire le ciel qui sont vle pour moi qui sont vle me faire he got up and he ran for his life fear he was empowered by fear I'm telling you the devil will whisper in your ears from time to time he will try he will try to paint a picture to you a picture of despair a picture of uh, from bad to worse and that's why when the devil speak to you I told you you need to open up your mouth and speak back to him I, I, I remember a few years ago I felt impressed to go to a conference uh, way up north I, I wasn't the one preaching or anything like that but I love to do that from time to time just go and receive are, are you following me because I know a lot of preachers if they're not preaching they don't want to go that's a mistake there's a time to give and there's a time to 
to receive to receive believe you me i've been to all of the four conferences that you guys had in the last four years i, I believe ago four years ago it was brother blake two three years ago it was brother Ernst. i see some of you don't even remember some of you don't even remember i've been here i've been here are you with me it's important it's important for you to just go somewhere and get in are you with me parce que pour abay faut qu'apprendre la pi avant la pi avant m pa kwè seulement c'est même qui pou camper wa bay wa bay go on leur pour recevoir go on leur pour go on leur pour bay you are a great worshiper to praise god but sometimes you just need to go and get sick la pi avant and as i drove up now going to that conference it was raining i was all alone in the car and the devil whispered in my ears he he said i'm gonna kill you tonight <laughs> are you with me are you with me he said i'm gonna kill you guess what i did guess what i did i opened my mouth i said devil you are a liar because if you could are you with me you would did you hear me did you hear me see i build that for job that's a pression la boy let's go have him I want you to see that in the text the queen sent a messenger to the men of God to tell him tomorrow you dead now understand if the queen really could have killed him would she bother to even send a messenger come on you in the text I love to teach the word of God c'est pression la boy est-ce qu'on l'a fait on pile des fois on conseille de attaque conseille de choses où est ennemi a fait c'est pression la boy est-ce qu'on l'a fait pour qu'a fort courir pour qu'a fort crier lui faire l'elle fait temps pour camper pour dire ennemi sous t'es capable ou t'as fait est-ce qu'on l'a fait sous t'es capable ou t'as tout même déjà sous t'es capable m'bata blanc encore mais au nom de l'Éternel me fait comment la paix avec vous for too many of us you know you go to the doctors the doctor said i see a little lump you know something we we probably going to have to run more tests and before you know it oh the devil comes oh, that's cancer oh you're going to die in 6 months and before you know it you are sinking in despair are you with me you got to go and say hey if we need to run more tests run are you with me and, and listen listen what listen listen what's the worst that could happen eh? even if you were to die come on somebody come on somebody this is the radical for you what's the worst that could happen if any if i were to die this is not my last stop are you with me this is not over if i were to die my mission is over i'm going to heaven li fè lèl fè tan e pa tout ti bagay pou ap kriye e pa tout ti bagay pou ap prele est-ce qu'on l'avem c'est pour dit chap la m pa kouri pou encore est-ce qu'on l'avem we are running we are running we are running because of fear the bible said in psalm 56 verse 3 psalm 56 verse 3 the bible says whenever i am afraid i will trust in you psalm 56 3 whenever i am afraid i want you to, to understand that fear is real and from time to time you will experience fear but when you are afraid don't run don't run or if you have to run run to your master are you with me run to the feet of jesus and trust him i said the first cause because tonight that's pretty much what i want to do in the next uh, minutes that i have i want to show you some of the the sources the causes the symptoms if you will of depression and at the end i will make some suggestion to you some of the solutions because i don't believe in just talk about the problems without are you with me making the suggestion for the solution are you there are you there so i said the first uh, symptoms or the first cause if you will for a uh, 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 depression is fear and i do believe the second i mean it, it doesn't have to be precise in the way that i give it to you but somehow you will find those things when people are depressed they will there will be one or two of them manifested the second source that i found that can be very depressing is unconfessed sin did you hear me did you hear me I, i'm not talking about well you know i'm talking about habitual sin when you are living in it you know you're doing it you comprend et et deuxième cause qui fait en pile monde dans l'église a souffri ça ouais les dépression c'est péché et c'est leur rété dans péché a même l'évangile a tombé l'évangile a parlé ça va pour vous est-ce que là est-ce que là hein et ou fin l'entendre a parler de lui but you you love your sin more than you love your savior are you following me so it's a problem and i'm telling you there's no way for you to experience true joy or true happiness in christ if you have unconfessed sin in your life 
you might be able to, to, to fake it. You might be able to pretend that you are happy. But deep down inside, you cannot be truly happy. I don't know about you, but personally, because I believe in keeping it real. When I have unconfessed sin in my life, I feel weak. I look ugly. Are you following me? Are you? Ma parle au monde qui fait expérience à mon Dieu. L'on tombe dans ces deux choses ou pas, tu tombe là dedans ou sans tout l'aide devant mon Dieu. A aucun n'a pas voulu dire Amen. Mon a qu'on a fait ou sans tout l'aide devant mon Dieu. L'on a vivre, j'en pas de vivre, car les noms ou sans tout sans protection. L'on a vivre, j'en pas de vivre ou sans tout grâce, mon Dieu et Catherine. Est-ce qu'on l'a avait? Ou passer des poids triste et cet esprit. Ma parle au monde qui sourd dans le ciel. Est-ce qu'on l'a avait? Ma parle au monde qui vient l'église juste pour passer conseil de monde. Amen. Y aurait été la donne, y aurait bien la donne, y aurait levé la donne. En rien, pas dit y aurait. Oh yeah, but the true redeemed Christian, when you do something, when you make the Holy Spirit sad, you feel it. And there's no way you can be truly, really happy. In Psalm 31 verse 10, the psalmist said something that I want to share with you. Psalm 31 verse 10, he says, For my life is spent with grief, and my years with sight. My strength fails because of my iniquity and my bones wasted away and Psalm 32 verse 3 he said when I kept silent Psalm 32 verse 3 you can write those verses down they will help you when I kept silent my bones read those words with me grew all through my groaning all day see he, that, that's a man who fell into sin are you with me you remember when David fell into sin with Bathsheba right in Psalm 51 he cried before God he saw restore in me what the joy of your salvation. Let our vie tombe dans sac par ça. Gardez non, prophète ta fin parle avec l'ensemble 51 qui ça dit. La parole à bon Dieu et puis il dit bon Dieu gardez non, un qui ça pour restaurer qui ça la joie de ton salut. Parce que nous dé pour sale devant mon Dieu cœur pas quand content vrai. Est-ce qu'on la rêve? Même là gain l'argent la banque, mais depuis ou pas dans règle avec bon Dieu, depuis pas dans bonne condition, cœur pas qu'à content. Cœur pas qu'à content. On peut tout, on a pris, on même mourir tout, mais en down. Est-ce que la avez? Des pour qu'on s'achète son petit coin, confessez Est-ce que la avez? Oh, I don't know about you. I love that word, repentance. Are you there? Are you there? The only reason I'm standing here preaching the gospel, it's because I've used that word. Est-ce que la avez? I've repented. Are you? I'm not saying that I'm innocent, but I've been justified. Est-ce que la avez? La paix avant, la paix avant, la paix avant. Il m'a justifié, il m'a lavé, il m'a racheté. C'est ça que On va camper. It's important, young people. If you have unconfessed sin in your life, to let it go, or else you will feel heavy, or else uh, you will feel like, man, something is not right, something is not working. I mean, I want to encourage you next week, please find me over there. We're going to have fun. We're going to have fun. You will feel something in your spirit. The connection, are you with me? You cannot pray the way that you used to pray. You cannot sing. I mean, you can sing, but your heart is not really into it. The Holy Spirit is not moving because of sin in your life. But the Bible said in the same chapter, Psalm 32, verse 1, it said, blessed or oh, happy, happy. You really want to know somebody, someone who's happy? The Bible is telling you who's happy. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven. Let me see some happy faces in the house. Whose transgression is forgiven. Whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord does not impute iniquity. And whose spirit there is no see, Oh, say that word with me. In his spirit there is no deceit. A lot of us. We are under that deceitful spirit. A lot of us, too many of us, we come here, we clap, we shout, yeah, let's arise, but, 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 sin in your life will keep you down. Sin in your life will make you heavy. Are you with me? 
you might be able to just go through the motion you might be able to do it just for a little while but be aware your sin will find you out are you with me the best thing that you can do is to confess your sin Jesus said I'm available I'm open in first John 1 verse 9 the Bible says if you confess your sin if you bring it to him he is faithful and just to forgive you if we confess our sin he is faithful and just to forgive us all our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness all you gotta do tonight is confess it did you hear me did you hear me you don't have to go home heavy you don't have to go home the way you came in just let it go are you with me say come straight to him say lord i lie too much say lord you know i'm struggling with that thing i need your help not only fear can keep you in depression sin also can be a factor another thing that a lot of people are facing that's keeping a lot of people depressed they cannot rise up is disappointment are you with me are you with me when people are disappointed when when you have a lot of broken promises when people have lied to you when people have let you down see see that's the problem a lot of times many of us consider a guy que moun fait li fò mal mais ou jis vin la ou pa vle même montre moun que ça fò mal ou pa vle même di est-ce que la aime ke ke kou repran la fò kriye a grand moun moun kon sa m ap di ay ke ke bagay ki rivo est-ce que la aime gon jan moun trahi ou li fò mal li te met se pou 2 jou ou san tou down are you with me are you with me there are all kind of degrees or levels of depression are you with me some people they are depressed for a day others for three four five days and people go through a whole month are you with me but each and every one of us sitting here you have you have somehow know some a level of depression in your life have you ever felt someday man you don't even want to get up uh, am i talking to some real people in the house uh, there are some times there are some things man that people do to you you're like man especially those of us here you have your heartbreak are you with me he told you that he loves you he told you that you know I i'm gonna marry you i'll be always with you and next thing you know he texts you because nowadays people all they got to do is send you a text oh come on can i keep it real right he's just sending you a text are you with me because we are living in a modern generation you know people they come to you you know it is so easy to be friendly with someone now uh, would you be my friend facebook you know we are friends and you can unfriend people with just a click oh you're not with me you're not with me you can unfriend people you know a lot of the promises that you make you can just forget about them and disappointments can bring you down what i need you to know and understand the bible said do not put your trust are you with me are you with me are you with me see that's right that's right when you see men are with you they are honest and sincere with you you should be praising God. Are you with me? Because there's not too many left. Are you following me? Par exemple, pile moun kounya sou la terre ou ka bay vérité ki kampé pou ça. Et ça fait madame ki la mari ki la souwe ma ou rien mais on madame ou rien mon kembel pi fort. Est-ce qu'on la rêve? Souwe ti la paix avant l'église parce que deux sept jours si grand pile moun yo sou bloc la paix avant. Yo di ou y avant yo pas avec ou. L'op chercher ou pas wè yo. On pas quête moun yo coquet la paix avant l'église. Disappointments, disappointments can bring you down. The Bible said in Proverbs 13, Proverbs 13, the 12th verse says, Hope deferred makes the heart sick. When you expected something, when you thought it was going to come through for you, and at the end they let you down, believe you me, somehow you will feel down even for a little while. And I got to be honest with you. A lot of people sometimes they feel disappointed by God because people sometimes we hear the gospel we hear the good news and they have a false notion of the gospel because a lot of times preachers they do a, a, a disservice to the people telling them if you receive Jesus everything is gonna be so much better you're gonna have the house that you need you're gonna have the car that you're looking for you're gonna have you know what i mean the most beautiful wife they make all kinds of promises 
and the people they heal those things they are attracted to them are you with me they come to god not for god but for what god can give what can do for them are you with me but but, but when they come listen god doesn't mind giving you follow me follow me follow me god doesn't mind giving you the car he doesn't mind giving you the house but he wants to make sure that you are after him not what he can do for you are you with me and before he bless you with those things he wants to process you he wants to he wants to make sure that when you have those things those things don't have you but far too many times people come and they are disappointed oh me pense bon Dieu t'a gaitan délivré me te pense bon Dieu t'a gaitan fait pour moi qui l'a dédou t'a délivré est-ce qu'on l'a est-ce qu'on l'a hein because my god is not a liar he will never lie to you far too many times quand pile les fois ou même pour qu'on pas dans prière ou dit bon Dieu année prochaine c'est pour délivrer est-ce que bon Dieu t'a dédou année prochaine l'a délivré est-ce qu'on l'a hein you cannot have faith for something that God did not tell you. Are you following me? Are you following me? I'm trying to help you so that you don't get disappointed. See, before you even pray, it's important for you to, to consult or to talk to God so that when he tells you you will have something, then you can have faith for that thing. Am I making sense, young people? You cannot hold God accountable for something that he never promised or never said that he will do if you do that you are bound to be disappointed are you with me are you with me because god never promised it i said fear can be a factor in your depression sin disappointment and also you're going to see that in those verses in first kings when you are too tired tiredness a lot of us in this great beautiful america we are living out of a margin we have way too much on our plate we are doing are you with me because this is america we ain't got no time to waste you keep saying yes 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 to all kind of opportunities to all kind of things and before you know it you cannot handle them if you are too tired you will fall into depression uh, are you getting this i'm trying to help somebody here tonight i said i'm going to appeal on to drop oh bon job bon force bon job bon force c'est pour me faire toute bagaille toute bagaille attendez même jésus l'a devine sous la terre Uh, am, I, am, I being, am I preaching the truth? You will find Jesus from time to time in a wedding, a dinner. Are you with me? The man who had the weight of the world on his shoulder knew how to relax. Knew how, see, you need to learn to live a balanced life. There's a time for church. Are you with me? There's a time also for you to relax. En pile non frère haïtien nou yo pa konn sa rele pou ti vacances est-ce que là est-ce que là est-ce que là hein ou après les blancs qu'on on travaille 50 semaines li bò 2 semaines vacances c'est pas 2 semaines ni d'adre ba ou seulement est-ce que là hein mais en pile non frère haïtien yo nan 2 semaines vacances yo gagne yo prend et puis après les pa gagne overtime eh si gagne overtime m'a vinn frapper toujours oui est-ce que là parce que faut frapper petit est-ce qu'on prend ou besoin l'argent ou besoin l'argent ou konn sa ou konn sa m'a prendre konn ou te vini ou te joine l'argent ou pour aller ou quitte ah, est-ce que là est-ce que là est-ce que là est-ce que là you need to learn to balance yourself because if you are too tired that's exactly what happened to the man of god i mean listen listen the man was so filled with the holy spirit he he he, he slew some 800 plus prophets he ran before the chariots of Ahab the man was on the move he was filled with the holy spirit but but yet you are a body or soul so a lot of times a lot of our brothers a lot of our preachers a lot of them you hear sometimes they just drop dead are you there are you there things are happening to them because they don't know how to say no are you with me they don't know how to say mm -mm, not this time i can't do it for you this month are you with me are you with me this month you know because after after god has used you to do great things you need time to rejuvenate you need really time to replenish are you following me et sous check et bien sous check et bien ou pour grand pile tête chargée nous tomber là dedans yo après un gros réveil fin fête est-ce que là est-ce que là vraiment 
I want I want you to be smart spiritually to understand how the enemy how the devil works you know you know sometimes after God has used you to do great things you need to be very careful because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the enemy he's, he's trying to see how he can infiltrate how he can come to you because he knows that at those times you are weak at those times are you with me because hey, understand that you are not just a spirit but you do have a body we need to take care of the temple of God is that okay for you so far we need to take care because many of us many of us nobody come from Bondo me see the man of God was so tired the angel touched him he got up the first time he ate what did he do he went back to sleep are you there are you there and he went back to sleep a second time he got up and he went back to he went back to sleep and that's the problem when you are worrying constantly a lot of times all you need is a good night of sleep let's go live let's go live until there for a problem yeah not only sin can bring you down fear can bring you down disappointment uh, uh tiredness but there's also the trials of life there are some tests there are some seasons that you are going through it feels as if it's too much for you it feels as if you can't bear it you you know it feels like how am i gonna go through this thing and that's when a lot of times we have the tendency to open our mouths and say things that we regret later on are you with me are you with me because there are some tests there are some situations that you are going through it feels like it's so much it's unbearable let me tell you you're not the first one to go through those things you're not the first and you're not the last did you hear me and let me tell you with every trials with every temptation God has provided a way for you God has already made the provision for you to come out under or not under I should say above that temptation you remember Job while he was going through the test that he was going through the trials Job opened up his mouth in Job chapter 3. He said, curse is the day that I was born. Are you with me? I was a man who was depressed. I said, I want to encourage you to read your Bible. You will see a lot of the things that you're facing. You will find somebody going through that thing in the word of God. Job opened up his mouth. He said, curse is the day that I was born. Jeremiah opened up his mouth. He said the same thing. He said, man, I don't want to have anything to do with the Israelites. He said, Curse is the day that I saw light. You, you understand that Jonah, Jeremiah, Elijah, all of them, they were suicidal. Are you with me? Are you with me? All of them. You need to understand that depression is the cause of 12%, 12% of our teen's death in this country. It's because of depression. Basically, one out of 18 in the United States of America suffer some kind or some types of depression especially especially the stats the stats are here college students God help you oh, come on come on come on college students you have your finals are you with me you're talking about talking about tuitions and, and, and you have your love life are you come on come on somebody sometimes come on y'all can we keep it real sometimes you feel like man you're going crazy depression and that's why you need to be very careful before I sit down there's something that I need to leave you with tonight you need to pay close attention when you find yourself in those situations hear me when you are are you following me I wish you could write this down it will help you pay close close attention when you are hungry when you are angry are you there are you there when you are lonely and when you are tired can, can you help me here when I say what did I say pay pay close attention right you need to take a halt are you there are you there that's right that's right that's the word a halt you take a stop you double check when you are what hungry when you are 
angry when you are lonely and when you are now isn't it interesting if you remember your Bible right if you remember your Bible Isaiah sold his birth right when did that happen when he was ah uh, come on somebody uh, let me go that side in Genesis chapter 25 if you go back you will see that how he negotiated how he gave his birth right the double portion for a battle stew are you with me the man was hungry a lot of people are selling their bodies right now because they are hungry people are doing all kind of shady business right now because of the flesh are you following me and that's why you and I you need to pay close attention when you are really hungry you shouldn't let those desires determine what you do did you hear me did you hear me you're gonna feel it are you with me but listen just because I'm hungry I'm not gonna sell my body just because I'm hungry I'm not gonna sell drugs just because I'm hungry I'm not gonna do all kind of shady things to satisfy the desire of the flesh he sold his birthright because he was hungry and Moses Moses you remember Moses right the great man of God he didn't make it to the promised land you remember what he do right the man he was so angry instead of speaking to the rock what did he do he I'm trying to help somebody here a lot of you when you are angry you are out of control when you are angry you say all kind of things with your mouth when you are angry you don't care who you are hurt because because yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, when you are angry one thing that I've learned in my own life let me share it with you I've learned especially you know when you're married not everything that comes into your head needs to come out of your uh, come on somebody come on so I'm trying to get you into it you can think it are you with me but don't open your mouth and say la bravo la bravo parce que plutôt c'est bon je vais demander pardon pour penser est-ce qu'on l'a fait because one thing that I've learned with my words once they get out of my mouth uh, are you helping me my sister les paroles la sort dans bouche ou va crier ou demander pardon sous pas un gros colette est-ce qu'on l'a fait mais quand tu as retourné il pas près tout il pas près tout il est temps craser qui en monde il est temps détruit before you speak you need to think and a lot of times when we are lonely that's when all kind of ideas come to our minds that's when we begin to surf the net we begin to surf the web you know what i mean we we, we and all kind of things the enemy brings to you you begin to go to certain sites uh, come on people that you're not supposed because you are lonely you think you are but he's watching you are you with me are you with me he's seeing everything that you're doing and when you are tired when you are too tired a lot of people in this country when they are really tired they overcompensate they they they, they eat too much they 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 shop too much are you with me because they don't know what to do with themselves so we've got to come to a point if you want to rise up if you want to stand up you need to live a well-balanced life and take your cue from your master Jesus are you with me the enemy tempted Jesus in the desert Jesus was lonely Jesus was hungry are you following me Jesus was tired yet he was victorious and that's the person that I want to be like even when I don't feel right even when I'm tired even when I'm lonely but I still want to remain standing are you with me are you with me so as I close this message tonight I just want to make some suggestions to you because brothers and sisters many of us sitting here you will at some point in your life face depression you will feel it 
it, it depends what level or what degree of it that you feel but, but but if you put those things into application you will snap out of it you will get out of it you will not have to go to see your, your psychologist your psychiatrist are you with me you will not have to spend money on those people because the answer is right here in the word of God in first Peter 5 verse 7 the Bible said cast all your cares I mean if you have cares tonight first Peter 5 7 the Bible said cast all your cares on him because he cares Matthew 11 Jesus said come to me all of you who are labor and have laden I will give you rest there are things that you can do don't take it all to yourself but tonight just give it all back to him in Philippians 4 verse 6 the Bible commands us to not be anxious many of us we are always anxious what's gonna happen what's gonna happen the Bible said be anxious with that word with me for I can hear you. I can hear you be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known to God ne vous inquiétez de rien mais en toutes choses fait quand même là qui a quelque besoin à soi là quand même là moi qui a quelque besoin à soi là ouais tout on a regardé tant qu'on va rentrer un besoin on va rentrer quand même là qui a quelque besoin à soi qui dit Seigneur dans ça mieux là c'est pour mettre me dehors only you Lord can help me only you see as prophet Jeremiah went through his depression as prophet Jeremiah was going through that that state that low stage in his life he said listen I was about to give up have you ever read the book of Lamentations that will help you he said I could have give up in Lamentations 3 but he said this I remember are you with me you need to remember something he said this I remember the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases are you there his mercies never come to an end but they are new Every, that's good on the side. Lamentation 3. Jeremy a parlé, il dit non, les bontés de l'éternel ne sont ouvert bouche dire et ses compassions ne sont pas à leur terme, mais elles se renouvellent every day. Every, I want you to see that I don't care what you went through like yesterday or what you are going through today, but as you wake up tomorrow, you need to know that you have a new 24. Come on, come on. You have got a new, come on, basketball player. You've got a new 20. Say that to your neighbor. Say you have a new 24. For. you have new grace you have new mercy you have new anointing you can make it through because God's grace is sufficient it will help you in whatever situation that you're going through the prophet arose and he ran for his life but you and I we're gonna rise up are you with me and conquer are you there we're not gonna run from the enemy are you with me we're gonna face the enemy and what God has for us we're gonna take it all back as I close this thing sometimes you are going through a low state and people who knows about your situation they are looking at you and they are laughing at you are you with me are you with me monde qui connait faire parfois a regarder ou y a grien dans sous vous est-ce que là bon j'ai parlé en monde là monde qui tendait causer a y a dit oh non soyez là ou pas j'aime sortir là dedans people who know some people know about your business and they begin to uh, uh, theorize they begin to prophesy are you with me they begin to say all kind of things about you but tonight i want to leave you with a verse are you interested when when the hypocrites when the people who think that they're gonna sing or it's gonna be your funeral you need to tell them what the prophet Micah said are you with me I mean Micah 7 verse 8 you should write that verse down Micah 7 verse 8 it's an old book in your Old Testament some of us you don't read those books but it will help you Micah said to the haters Micah said to those of them who didn't think that he was gonna make it come on say that with me read those words he said do not rejoice over me my enemy come on somebody he said do not rejoice over me my enemy when I fall ah uh, come on 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 somebody come on somebody he said when I fall don't be too quick are you with me to pronounce I'm dead don't be too quick to say it's over don't be too quick to say that there's no way out don't be too quick to count me out because I'm serving the God who can raise the dead I'm serving the God who can do the impossible I'm serving a God who can do all things so when I fall I will 
I can hear you. I can hear you. I'm trying to work you in. When I fall, the Bible said the righteous fall seven times, but yet God will bring him back up. Let's go. A lot of you sitting here today, you have fallen, but thank God you're still here. Are you with me? The Bible said, when I fall, I will rise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord will be the light. Quand Aïtien parait, moi, je dis ça en créole la même. Gardez nos conseils de l'ennemi qui a pris dans le sou. Conseils de l'ennemi, pas quoi qu'on a privé. Gardez nos prophètes, Michel, qui a pris la palais. Lui dit, ne te réjouis pas à mon sujet, mon ennemi, parce qu'il y a quelqu'un qui a prétend pour y aller pour l'extérieur. Est-ce que là, il y a quelqu'un qui a prétend, c'est la fin. Mais vous devez camper, vous déclarer, pour dire, ne te réjouis pas à mon sujet, car si je suis tombé, est-ce que là, si je suis tombé, même là où je suis tombé, sous pas qu'à dire bien, pas dire mal, est-ce que là, est-ce que là, parce que côté de Don't be I pala mapret. Est-ce que ma pala on moula? Koto em yeah. This is not my last stop. I might fall, but the plan of God has already provided restoration. Hallelujah. Koe moun ki kwa nan restoration sa. Koe moun ki kwa nan rest. Young people, you're gonna face some stuff in your life. Sometimes you will fall, but you need to know that God has already provided the plan of restoration, the plan to rise you up, and the plan to keep you up. Even if I fall, with God's help. I will get back up. I want to talk to somebody in the house who said, I will defeat that enemy. I don't know about you, but I'm coming tonight against that spirit of depression. I'm coming tonight against that spirit of addiction. I'm coming tonight against that spirit of sadness. He has lingered way too long, way too long. You need to come back. Are you with me? As I close, I told you about Prozac. I told you about Wellbutrin. I told you about all of those antidepressants. But I've got some pills for you. How many of you are ready to take your pills tonight? How many of you are ready to take some pills? I have a pill for you. When you wake up tomorrow morning, you need to pop up uh, some joy. Oh, you're not with me. You're not with me. You need to take a couple pills of peace. Oh, you're not with me. You're not. Are you ready to take your pills? Are you ready to take your medicine to say, Heaven, I want what you have for me. Because what you have for me can satisfy me. Do you want it? Do you want it tonight? Do you want it? That spirit of, of that spirit that keeps training you down. You don't feel like you can make it. And the enemy is whispers in your ears telling you, you will never get back up again. But tonight you need to say, the devil is a uh, if you're here in the house of God there is hope for you I don't know how you came in tonight but I'm telling you you're not going home the way that you came in his mercies are new every morning every morning new mercies new grace new strength new wisdom are you getting this are you getting this there's a fresh supply of the holy spirit every morning as you wake up tomorrow morning say i get my peace i grab my joy i get my deliverance i get whatever that is that you need for that day say lord i receive your supply if it's you tonight just bow your head right now just bow your head i don't know how you came in but some of us we were here we heard these words but you felt discouraged. You didn't even feel like coming in tonight. But you got in the house and you heard the word of God telling you, there's still hope for you. There's still hope for you. Not because of oh, the fact that you are so good, but it's simply because he is faithful. The Bible said he who made the promise is faithful. He promised that he will come to the house. He will come to the Alléluia. But I'm not gonna live a life of depression. I'm not gonna live a life of just take pills and pills all my life. Say, Lord, I want your supply. Because you are faithful. Hallelujah. Great is your faithfulness. Great is your faithfulness. Morning. Morning by morning. New mercies. Do you believe that? Ah. Uh, 
thy hand hath provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord. That's what's going to get you out of that depression. When you, realize, when you realize that God is faithful, say, Great is thy faithfulness. Yes, he is faithful. Great is thy Oh, morning by morning, new mercy I see. All I have, have One more time. Great is thy faith. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, this is the word of the Lord. Stop worrying. Stop worrying. Stop worrying. Your father knows you. Your father sees you. You cannot do it on your own. You cannot do it on your own. You cannot do it on your own. He knows what you are in need of. He already provided. If you need that, stand up to your feet. If you need that, stand up to your feet. Stop worrying. Do not worry. Do not worry. Don't be anxious. He knows. He knows. He knows the money that you need. He knows the help that you need. Your tuition. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Put your consorbers with them. Put your consorbers with S'il te compte prendre soin on depuis en Haïti. C'est pas qu'il y a pour pas prendre soin. Yes, yes, yes. Dis Seigneur ou fidèle, ou fidèle. Nous sont chanter chant ça qui dit bon Dieu n'a pas servi à pas jambe là que petite lui. Hallelujah. You didn't come here just to be in church tonight. God, God is doing something in the house tonight. That spirit of worriness that is robbing you of your joy. When you begin to think about it, some bral fait, some bral fait. Non, c'est pas son bral fait. C'est pour dire bon Dieu qui ça va faire. Bon Dieu qui ça ou même va faire. Because this is not for you. You can do it. Hallelujah. Tonight, I want to make this altar call. Keep it down for me. Somebody was here and said, I don't care who's looking at me. I don't care what people say about me. But je sais qu'il y a besoin pour qu'il y ait même. Parce que nous sommes ici à pas passer ou pour aider. We're gonna come forward. Ou même qui pas bien mon regard rien pour c'est où qu'on est sur la passe. C'est où qu'on est sac dans cœur. Parfois n'est pas tissu dans des cœurs à casser. Pour mon qui l'a gombe à gaie docteur a dit ou cap manger ou pas qu'a dit mon ça. Ou pour aller venir devant la boutique c'est le samedi à ma pote le bar où. I mean you want to pas fort pas aller venir ou want mon ça c'est affect pas. But I wanna make this altar call. We're gonna release it. Are you with me? Are you with me? Some of you, you are worrying for all kind of things. Every little things worries you. You need to come forward and.